Hello my friends, my name is Bogdan Kurta and uh, today we'll uh, look at the mixer, a classical and amazing mixer. It's uh, here an analog Yamaha MG126, uh, an analog mixer, how I said, which um, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I bought it and I use it from more than 20 years ago. It's the first time when I open it. Uh, only for cleaning purposes uh, and for more than 20 years work without any technical problems. Actually, even now it's working without any technical problems and uh, this thing is only proving its quality. We are seeing here uh, on the preamps we have components of very good precision, high precision components, yes. The connectors, uh, the XLR connectors, they are in my opinion they are not new trick connectors but very good and in uh, more than 20 years, uh, 23 years, they didn't make any problems, any uh, issue with contacts or uh, um, things. Uh, similar so everything it was absolutely perfect we have three bands EQ parametrical EQ one of the amazing things we are finding here on the general out we have a seven band graphic EQ which is very practical and uh, extremely extremely versatile and good sounding and um, we have a lot of places in which we can use in the practical matter this EQ for uh, giving another character to the sound, for correcting the room, for uh, a, lot of, uh, a little fe feedback correction, yes. Multi-purposes um, general EQ and I really regret that today mixers, they don't have uh, this kind of thing. We have a mixer in our day, mixers, analog mixers, which they don't offer the gra graphical EQ on the general XLR outs that we are finding here. Because uh, the companies, they try all the time to cut the price, to make economies uh, and with their marketing to lie that they are offering better quality, but in reality they are offering a lot less. This mixer, it, it has also a classical LAM connection, yes. Uh, we are uh, seeing here, we have a processor, an audio processor, DSP FX processor with 16 FX, which in my opinion, they sound good enough. Um, it's a little more complicated to work with them if you are not a talented sound engineer because uh, you must to correct and to adjust the parameters of each one of the effects uh, manually and you really must know what you are doing if you know what to do the sound it will be absolutely amazing if you don't know what to do i don't know you don't know what to do uh, okay the faders they are very good because uh, this mixer worked in studio applications very intensely and after in live applications uh, for a very very long time uh, without any issue how i said before the preamps because here it's important to arrive how i said we have i will uh, zoom in um, so we have high precision components um, okay the sound how is the sound you don't find the uh, very clean and crisp uh, high ends and clean sound like uh, on the Yamaha MG new MG series or MG X U series uh, if we are speaking about uh, the CD with uh, FX and USB this uh, device doesn't have USB by the way it's too old it's not an audio interface but uh, the preamps are definitely warmer so in my opinion even if we don't have the crisp sound like in the mg series the sound is a lot more pleasant it's uh, more natural it's more real yes it's fatter 
we have um, the harmonical distortion which is so pleasant no I don't speak about that bad distortion which is disturbing the ear I speak here about an um, enriching the the sound yes making making richer the, the sound about a bigger sound about the harmonics and uh, they are absolutely amazing amazing sounding preamps uh, in one way in a way they sound even more pleasant for some songs for some artists from some for some musical uh, types uh, more beautiful than the uh, very well known Yamaha um, 01X uh, or the Yamaha D preamp yes we have also four groups here for uh, the outs we have by the way also a recording out a line out with a fixed uh, volume very practical if you want to use an external recorder uh, however, I will make a review in the future also with the, this board with the mixer closed. And I want to show you something absolutely amazing. Look here. Uh, so everything is low, it's built like a tank. And look here at the quality of the components. Look here at this transformer. How solid and how big it is. Uh, it's a real transformer with copper, with a coil of copper, yes? Uh, not a commutation and uh, this means that we have a, a lot cleaner uh, source of energy which is meaning a lot of uh, a better sound and a cleaner sound look here at the protection how many fuses we have so so everything it has a fuse every absolutely every circuit it has a, a fuse the capacitors yes condenser capacitors they are very high quality a dedicated motherboard for the out, for the outs, and uh, there are also some ins here connected by some uh, connection strips. And I want to show you here something very interesting. And look at these uh, integrates, um, how well they are connected with this heat dissipator, with this radiator, radiator and how generous is the radiator and uh, this is mean this this uh, is meaning a uh, better heat dissipations and um, the radiator himself is connected to the case which is metal case and the case himself it's uh, acting as a giant and very efficient uh, extension of the radiator the case himself uh, acts as a radiator it's absolutely amazing and this transformer yes it's heavy you will say that it's heavier than uh, uh, sourcing commutation which is absolutely true but it's using a lot uh, less energy because uh, the commutation source on the modern speakers and mixers it's uh, it's lighter yes but it's uh, using a lot more energy you are losing a lot of energy uh, a transformer it has uh, always it will have uh, a better rendement energetical rendement so less consumption uh, cleaner it's also the power yes of course we have here the led vomitors the indicators of uh, volume what it's also special about this mixer it's the fact that it has also a dedicated mono XLR out especially for the subwoofer yes uh, it has also insertion insertion capabilities for external effects and you can use external effects also uh, without the insertions because you have dedicated aux buses for this of course you have the PFL button and here from here you will select the groups if I turning the board which is looking very bad uh, very well sorry I'm a little tired yes you will see here the DSP module you can see that it's looking exceptionally no rust nothing after so many years in use is is looking a lot better than some new Behringer mixers or other brands 
let's now name it because because yes uh, but I will, uh, why not I, I will tell you avoid to buy Behringer avoid to buy uh, Samsung avoid to buy Phonic which in my opinion they are very very bad products of course it's only an opinion but me I'm working uh, on musical research for uh, Pompidou Paris Research Musical Research Center. So even if it's only an opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, my opinion, it's a heavy opinion. So yes, I make also the game of words. Uh, for now, uh, I will say that is the time to um, close the the video uh, because I will uh, come back. In the future, I don't know exactly when, but in the next months, yes. With a new and fresh video with this board closed. Like this, uh, this is available also for the MG16 XU that I presented, uh, open it also some weeks ago. So I will come back with these mixers closed and uh, with a full review maybe a little less technical but uh, uh, which it will have uh, as a target uh, the practical meaning of the mixer yes i will tell you very short before finishing this video the fact that uh, you can use this mixer uh, in our days uh, without any problems it has a very good sound very good exceptionally sound and you can use it in studios and also on live uh, applications of course with the limitation that you don't have a usb audio card but you can use an external uh, recorder because it's prepared for this a very well thought mixer it's uh, working beautifully especially after 20 25 30 minutes uh, after you press it, the button of power on, because all these components, they need to achieve a temperature for uh, be able to work in their parameters, in their optimal parameters, and to give you the, the amazing sound, which uh, I will tell you now in the, in the end that it's uh, very round, very pleasant, very harmonic, very natural very pleasant fat and in the same uh, time clean enough and uh, absolutely fantastic um, make good music all the time until we'll see you again and uh, subscribe and give a like for the algorithm and maybe a comment also for the algorithm or if you have some questions of course i will read uh, the comments and i will answer in the future videos, most likely, and until the, until the next time, take care, and uh, another time, I, I know that I'm repeating, but it's very important, make good quality music. Bye-bye.